Hey guys, I thought I'd do an update video on the uh, new camera, the Sony AX33. Uh, recording in 4K right now to test the quality. It's a kind of a nice day out. It's a little cold, 54 degrees outside. But uh, I'm going to talk more about the car. Uh, as for uh, the differences, I've definitely noticed with the uh, February eSIM update for the 2016 uh, Subaru Stock Tune. Uh, for sure, the top end is uh, definitely a lot better uh, compared to uh, before, even though you do lose some low end torque. But for sure, the top end is a lot better. Like, there's been several times where I've gotten a ridiculous speed at like really good time, like pulling, like starting second gear, going to third, and uh, the bottom of fourth, uh, it gets up there pretty quick. So, I guess I'll do a couple of pulls to 60 and uh, test the car out somewhat. Car made to drive fast, so. But uh, yeah, driving fast is always fun in this car. Currently at a little over 18,000 miles. Car, as always, is always doing good, no issues. Uh, my car is not uh, plagued by the, the recent recall of the turbo inlet uh, thing, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't want to have to leave my car to dealership or whatever to get, to get fixed up, so that's good. Other than that, you know, car's been doing good. I mean, no, no problems. Uh, driving with the summer tires now is quite a much better experience, that's for sure. I mean, the handling's a lot better. Your top speed isn't limited. Uh, with the winter tires, oh man, trying to drive fast and uh, the warmer weather was just ridiculous. Uh, it makes a big difference having a lot of the stickier tires on the proper weather conditions. And then, like I said, the Unfortunately, the low end acceleration is somewhat diminished. The way I see it is a lot of people are complaining, saying, oh, you know, their torque's gone. I, I just, all I can say is just push the pedal harder. I mean, just, you know, there's nothing wrong with driving this car hard. It's, it's made to be drive fast. It's a WRX. So uh, if you feel like the power is down, just, you know, bring the revs up a little bit higher, put in a little bit more boost, and uh, you'll, you'll get it going. So I don't really see much of a problem with uh, my car driving in. I drive mine uh, pretty, pretty fast a lot. I mean, not all the time, but I like to drive pretty aggressively for the most part. Do a big third gear pull. Third gear is a good gear to pull us here. It's 3,000 RPMs full throttle. But yeah, it just feels like. Feels like it picks up really good. It's not bad. There's been a lot of roll races I've had, like on the street, the third gear. It's always third gear. I always just, you know, depending on what kind of car I'm going against, it always just like, it's a great gear to take off from. It's good the low end. And once you get to that top end, it just freaking flies. It's so fun. You know, and being my car stock, I mean, I guess I'm missing out on so much. I mean, you know, there's, you know, even a stage one, two, 93 octane would make quite a difference than even the stage two of the downpipe would uh, definitely also make quite a difference. But uh, just the way it is, I still find it fun either way. Get down the sun here. But uh, it would be nice to see uh, 
if uh, the better top end makes uh, somewhat of a difference in the pickup on this vehicle. The old shock metal with uh, the upgraded tune. Uh, so I guess some people say there's less rev paint, which I guess I could kind of agree. It seems like it's a little bit uh, less uh, noticeable. And also the way you drive the car uh, kind of can uh, it can actually kind of show like I mean depending on how you drive your car, you could probably also kind of bring down the effects of rev paint if you kind of just ma ma manipulate the throttle and clutch properly. You could also uh, kind of make it a little smoother smoother experience, but uh, a lot of times, you know, starting out the first gear, when you're first taking off, uh, there is some rap hang, unfortunately. But I always do want to say, uh, with the new, new tune, uh, the first, the second, uh, just the process just seems much smoother uh, compared to before. video I don't want to make it too long I mean it is 4k it definitely uses up a lot of megabits per second in terms of uh, recording data so I don't want to make a video too long I have to edit it and all that stuff so I kind of just want to make a straight shot video without having to edit it uh, just to test out the quality so I guess I'll leave me a comment if uh, the quality looks better if uh, anything I could do differently or if there's any special requests that you would like uh, let me know and I'll you know, be happy to make a, make a video of it so I guess I'll do one more quick pull at this light and then I'll cut the camera and uh, stay on the footage turns out and then uh, from now on it will be definitely recording on this camera and hopefully um, it uh, makes uh, the video experience a little bit better on YouTube so uh, let's see. Yeah, it's 
seems like this, the, the basically the one, two, three punch through the gear is uh, pretty smooth. It seems like it's a little bit easier to, to control the, the throttle, the clutch through the gears. It just seems like it's a little bit better. Second gear pull and then I'll cut the camera.